If you guys are looking to get a stacked NBA 2K account or to get your badges grinded, make sure to hit up Goat Plug on Instagram. His link will be in the description. I got digital dash, came right with a up. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull out the lot. Got Tiff in the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burn out the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. So you see the gang, get the word out. When the shit getting hot, you the first out. Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks. Now I look at the time all day. Be high, I wrap the old block and I drop off the top and I know you can see my face. You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches. Yo, what's up with you, YouTube? It's your boy Fist back in the with yet another video. Today, I'm coming to you guys with the most overpowered big man build in NBA 2K20. Best glass shooting lockdown build, best shooting glass build in the game. Now, when it comes to my shooting glass lock build, a lot of people make it a lot of different ways. Now, this is not going to be the most badges you can get on this build by any means. It's just the best big man build in the game when it comes to being well-rounded to be able to do everything that you want to do as a big man so when it comes to shooting defense even like playmaking even like in finishing all that stuff bro you're gonna be very very well rounded bro i'm telling you bro this is the best big man build in the game there's not like now you might look at the attributes you might look at some of this stuff and be like that's questionable but if you literally make this build play on it bro you'll see how very very overpowered it is bro like it's very very good but yeah man um, not no more talking. Let's just go ahead and get straight into it. All right, before we go too far into this video, if you guys want me to do the most overpowered build for like every position, because I already did the point guard, this video is going to be power forward. So for this, it's going to be the power forward. If you guys want like the best center, small forward, shooting guard, go ahead and spin the like button for that. And I can get that out to y'all as soon as possible. But yeah, um, uh, first things first, when it comes to this build, what you want to do is make them a power forward. Next is the pie chart. So for the pie chart, the the skill pie chart what you want to do is go ahead go to the shooting and defensive pie chart is going to get you hall of fame shooting and defensive rebound badges next is going to be the physical pie chart so for the physical pie chart what i went with was speed and strength now what's going to be most popular for people to do on this type of build is going to go with the balance now i went with speed and strength so i can have, be able to have that strength go to a 99 and i can be able to have that speed as high as possible because this is a build it's going to be very faster with the ball than you're really thinking. Like, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be faster with the ball than you're really thinking. Because this is going to be a build that you're going to be easily, easily, easily be able to get gold quick first step on. All right, so next we got the attributes. So for the attributes, this is really where you mold the build into exactly how you want it to be. So what you could do, first things first, I'm going to tell you this. What you could do for the shooting, you're going to have to take, you're going to have to take a hit on the, you're going to have to take a hit on the badge. Now you can go with post fade. If you feel like post fade is more important to you than free throw. I only put the free throw up instead of post fade so I can get the more shooting badges. Cause I don't really care about the post fade or the free throw. I just want the extra shooting badges. The only thing I need is the three pointer to be honest. And then when it comes to the finishing, I maxed out the close shot, driving layup, driving dunk, standing dunk. And then I put a little bit up on the post hook just to be able to get eight finishing. Then it came to the playmaking, I put up max on a post move. Then I put up pass accuracy to a 76. Then when it comes to the defensive rebound badge, or not defensive rebound badge, but the defensive rebound attributes, I maxed out block, offensive rebound, defensive rebound, entry defense. Cause that's all the, those are the most important things for a big man. Now you obviously, you probably want to have a little bit higher of a lateral quickness, but I still put it up a little bit and that got us to 16 defensive rebound badges. So. All in all, you have at least eight on finishing, shooting, playmaking, and defensive rebounds. So when it comes to the finishing, you have enough for the finishing to really do what you want to do. You probably have more than enough on the playmaking. So if you really want to go with more shooting or defensive rebound badges, you can take that hit on playmaking. But when it comes to the playmaking, bro, you take a hit on playmaking, bro, like you was already only like losing like 10 attributes. So I just went with as many badges as I could on the playmaking. So yeah, that's why that's the reasoning for that. So, with that, you been had those eight, you're gonna be able to get gold quick first step and then gold post spin technician, and you have a good post move. So, you're gonna actually be able to utilize that post spin technician. Now, you're saying, but you didn't put up your ball handle. That's not gonna make a big deal because you have a high speed for a, for a big man build. So, you're gonna actually be a, way faster than you really are thinking. 
So yeah, keep that in mind. So yeah, um, when it comes to these badges, bro, you're gonna have at least two gold on the finishing and playmaking. Then when it comes to the shooting, you're gonna have at least four, not four, but you have at least three Hall of Fame badges and then one left over. And then you're gonna have at least four Hall of Fame badges for the defensive rebound badges. Now, you might say that's not enough, but when we get into the badges later on in the video, I'm gonna show you guys that's enough. Even more than enough, probably. All right, for the body shape and height. Now, for the body shape on this build, the body shape is actually important on big men. Now, when it comes to the guards and stuff like that, it's not nearly as important in my opinion, unless you're making like a tall, small forward. But for the big man, it's definitely important because when you go with a bigger body shape, it actually makes it harder for you to get around even when you're not setting screens. So if you set screens, it makes you set better screens in my opinion, and it makes you harder to get around, and it, it just makes you a better big man in my opinion. So the best body shape in my opinion is Burley. The next best one is built. You can't go wrong with either of the two, but the best one in my opinion is Burley because Burley is just, just gonna be bigger. Pa pause, pause. But yeah, six foot 11 is the best height for big man builds in my opinion, period. Now, if you want to go to center, best height for centers, in my opinion, is seven foot one. Now, there is a very old penis to being seven foot three, especially if you're a post scorer. But I feel like those are the best height, seven foot one and six foot eleven. Now, when it comes to the weight, now the weight, I went max weight just so I can have my strength. Like I said earlier in the video, I want my strength to be ninety five because so, once you hit that ninety nine, you're gonna be able to get that plus four. That's gonna end up being a ninety nine strength. Also, it gets my interior defense up to an 88 so that's really just two good things now when it comes to the driving dunk another reason why i went with the driving dunk being so high i want to be able to get those alley-oop dunk packages so you have a 65 dunk package or dunk rating you can get those pro alley-oop dunk packages that's gonna be able to, that's gonna help you a lot be able to get those dunk packages right there you know what i'm saying that's very important because if you can't get those it makes you just do the regular trashes animations possible you get pros it's gonna be even more consistent and you're gonna get better animations all right, next we got the wingspan. Now for the wingspan, this is gonna be really what shapes your build when it comes to be able to th shoot, rebound, play defense. That's really the most important parts for this build because you go down, the post moves is gonna go up, but it's not gonna go up too much. But I, for any big man build, you don't wanna go minimum or even down in wingspan, you wanna go up. So I, I would've went max, but I wanted to have a more burst takeovers as possible so i want to be able to get sharp takeover i wanted to i tried to get post score takeover but i don't know if that's really possible with the way i made it because i didn't put up my post fade or post hook but i did get rim protector sharp takeover and glass takeover with this wingspan now if you don't care about sharp takeover just go with max take max wingspan it's gonna help you rebound better play better defense and stuff like that now you will take a hit on the three so i wouldn't lower it to under 73 pointer you go under 73 pointer your green window is gonna be smaller so I would try to keep it up above a 70 on the three pointer, but when it comes to everything else, it really up to you. But yeah, the wingspan I ended up going with was 90 inches. Now, before we go into the takeovers, I wanna say, like I say in all these videos, you gotta look at it when it comes to hit 99 and 99.9. .9. When you hit 99, that's plus four. When you hit 99.9, that's plus five to all these stats. So all this stuff is going up plus four, plus five. So you can get your three pointer up to a 76. You can get your block up to a 93. You can get your defensive rebound up to a 92. Your offensive rebound up to a 90, or not a 90, but an 85. Like pretty much all this stuff is gonna be going up. Your standing dunk is going up to an 89. Close shots going up to an 89. Your driving dunk is going up to a 70. Layups going up to a 68. So pretty much literally you're just gonna be a really well-rounded big man build. Now the only thing that you probably don't have is post hook and post fade. I green consistently with no post fade. Oh, I'm not post fade, but post hook on all my builds. Like even if I'm on a guard or a big man, green it consistently, bro. I don't know if the post hook rating even really matters. But another thing when it comes to this stuff, if you hit, like you gotta do a certain thing. If you guys want me to do the tutorial on how to get the gym rep badge, go ahead, comment that below. But you get gym rep badge, you get plus four to all your physicals. And you get like an extra Gatorade bar. So. That's another thing too. So you can get all your physicals up plus nine. So you obviously gonna have a strength up to 99, like I said, but you can get your speed, your speed up to 75, which is huge, bro. You get your speed up to 75, that's gonna be helping you get like your speed with ball even higher. So if you have goal push first step on, it's gonna be speed boosting, or not speed boosting, but being way faster than, than normal as a big man. All right, now we're getting into the takeover. Like I said, when it came to the wingspan, I chose 90 inches because I wanted to be able to have more opportunities on the takeover so if you're one of those people that like to use sharp takeover on big man builds because you like to spot up a lot 
Sharp Takeover is gonna have you shooting from deep, deeper than any other takeover or deeper than ever. You're gonna be able to green it from deep. It's just that simple. It's gonna make you like a stretch bid that's gonna be able to have Hall of Fame defensive badges. So if you wanna be a, if you wanna be, want this build to be like a stretch big, go ahead and put on Sharp Takeover. Now, the best big man takeover, in my opinion, is Glass Cleaner Takeover. But Rampage of the Takeover is also good. It's not as good as Glass Cleaner Takeover. Glass Cleaner Takeover, in my opinion, is the second best takeover in the game because it sets better screens. It gets you better at rebound animations. It throws people out of the way when they're trying to box you out. All type of stuff. Rebound. Glass Cleaner Takeover does so much. It even shows you like when people are missing, where it's going to be, and stuff like that. Rampage of the it cancels out like, like when it comes to like Slasher Badge. It cancels out whole score badge all that it cancels out it literally cancels out takeovers and you can get snatch blocks but i ended up going with glass and you take over you can't go wrong with either of the two it really depends on how you re you're really trying to play so if you're really like trying to cancel out takeovers you want to be like more of a, on a defensive side or you want to be a well-rounded big man and have glass in your takeover you're still gonna be able to play defense with the glass in your takeover so i went with the glass in your takeover and the bill comes out as a glass king lockdown similar to john collins Jaren Jackson and Antoine Jameson. Now, the most similar is easily Jaren Jackson, but Jaren Jackson is not a defensive build or defensive player. John Collins will be similar, but he's not a really good. He's not very good at defense. It kind of hurts me to say that, but he's not good at defense. I'm not gonna lie. Antoine Jameson, I don't really see it, but Jaren Jackson is definitely similar because he's very athletic. He has good defense and he can shoot. Very similar. Now, but can he rebound? No, I wouldn't say he can rebound. As, as good as this build is able to so it's very hard to make a build that's similar to this build or a player in the lead that's similar to this build but yeah man all we got left to do is go over is the badges so yeah man let's go ahead and get straight into that all right next we're getting straight into the badges first things first per usual is the finishing badge now off rip y'all probably gonna be caught off guard i don't got contact finisher on i don't like using contact finisher bruh I don't it creates as much contact as possible so when you come to big man you're gonna be getting into contact as much as possible either way so what i would rather do is put on slithery finisher because slithery finisher is just gonna get you better animations more consistently so it's gonna create as little contact as possible so it's gonna more more than likely it's gonna get you more open shots than you really are expecting to even get so i'll go with gold slithery finisher uh, then i put on live city finisher i can be able to catch those lives at an even higher rate pick and roller and put that box to go to bronze now i could have put on drop stepper back down punisher i could have put on any of those badges but i really just put on badges that i know are gonna utilize on this build because i'm not gonna be going into the post on this build i'm not gonna be doing drop steps i'm not gonna be doing all that you know what i'm saying so i just put on pick and roller and put back balls another badge that you can put on to utilize on this build are fantasy footwork consistent finisher relentless finisher giant slayer put on all those badges because you're gonna have i'm just gonna say this right now you're gonna have gold quick first step it's gonna throw your man off guard that you're that fast because you're gonna be faster than you're actually expecting to be on this build i'm telling you that right now all right now for the shooting badges we got 13 upgrades to work with now you might be saying that's not enough which it probably isn't but you can do it what you can now with them making the quick draw not as oh not as big of a deal as it was before because the difference between bronze to hall of fame was a huge difference now it's not nearly as big now i'm gonna go into it i'm gonna make a video specifically strictly just for that there's a lot of people making videos on it but i don't think they're really touching on it the right way so i'm gonna make a video specifically on that but when it comes to quick draw i put it to silver there's a lot of different jump shots you can use that silver 38 tray break really depends on you dante exum is the best spot up big man jump shot in the game in my opinion then when it comes to the other badges i put on hot zone hunter hall of fame because i feel like that's the best badge to help you green especially when you're in hot spots so it doesn't matter where you are on the court whether you're shooting deep threes corner shots if you have hot spots it's gonna help you green then when it comes to going along with hot spot i'll put all these other badges to go along with big man, spot up, stuff like that. So I got catch and shoot. I don't usually put that on. Corner specialist, range extender, green machine. So what I could have did, I could have put green machine to bronze and put catch and shoot to silver. But I want my, I feel like green machine is more important because I'm already going to have corner specialist and range extender. Range extender is going to help you shoot deep middies, on the line threes, anywhere on the court, anywhere on the court, on the line threes, anywhere on the court, and deep threes and deep threes it doesn't just help you shoot deep threes anymore it helps you shoot deep middies on the line threes and deep threes corner specialist helps you shoot anywhere in the, or in the corner when it comes people don't know this but it's literally the hash and down literally hashing down whether you shoot mid ranges around the corner or corners 
So that's a pretty big area. So if you sit hash, corner specialist is gonna be helping you. If you inside the hash. Now, if you're outside the hash, that's gonna be more towards range extender. But if you're inside the hash, that's still gonna be corner specialist. So you're gonna be getting help from corner specialist. And I got green machine to help you consistently, consecutively green. Catch and shoot is just a bad to help you just catch and shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like it's gonna help you in pretty much every situation when it comes to this build, because you pretty much just gonna be catching and shooting on this build, right? So yeah. But if you don't wanna use catch and shoot, go ahead and put on gold quick draw just to make your jump shot faster if you feel like it's gonna make that big of a difference. All right, next we got the playmaking badges. Now for the playmaking badges, you got eight upgrades to work with. Now, first things first, first two I know I'm using, post spin technician, quick first step goal, it's gonna make a big difference. Quick first step goal is just gonna catch your man off guard. Post spin technician is just a badge to have on just to make it. So for any time you just wanna post move, use a post move on somebody, you can put po post spin. Just post spin somebody is you gonna pretty much it's pretty much gonna work most of the time more than not especially for the first time if you do it one time a game it's gonna just throw them off guard because especially if you spine up the whole game you get a post touch you post spin somebody it's most likely gonna work because a lot of people don't use post move lockdown they don't use that and then for the la last two it depends on what you plan if you plan like break prom break start is a good badge downhill is actually a very overpowered badge to go with this build because it's gonna help your speed ball especially on fast breaks bailout is another good badge unpluckable. Dream Shake, Lossy Passer, maybe, Flashy Passer, maybe. Um, but what I ended up going with was Neil Thread is going to be do better passes in any situation. Not just fast breaks, any situation. So if you're playing twos, threes, it really doesn't matter where you're playing with Needle Thread. So I put on Needle Threader, Silver, Post Spin Technician Goal, Quick First Step Goal. And I figure that this is the best playmaking bad setup for this build. All right, and last but not least, this is going to be kind of long. I'm not going to lie. This video is going to be kind of long because I'm going in detail, very, very in detail on a build that people not really, they don't really know too much about. And it's going to be the defensive rebound badges. This is going to be the last part of the build video. But yeah, let's go ahead and get straight to it. I put on Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser and Hall of Fame Intimidator. Those are the two most important badges for this build because that's going to have you get rebounds. That's going to have you get the best shot contest possible. The only thing that's going to be inconsistent on this build is the shot contest because you're undersized. So I had to put on Intimidator Hall of Fame so you can get the best possible and get Rebound Chaser so you can snag as much as possible. Now, you don't necessarily need Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, but you just definitely need it at least bronze or silver. Now, I know people that don't use it at all, but in my opinion, I feel like you, you want to put that on. Then when it comes to badges that I have silver, I put Pogo Stick and Brick Wall. Brick Wall is going to be setting the best screens possible and it's going to be draining people energy. Brick Wall is one of the most overpowered badges in the game. So if you feel like you want to put that to Hall of Fame, you can put that to Hall of Fame and switch that with Rebound Chaser. It depends on which one you think is more important. I think Rebound Chaser is more important, but Brick Wall you can't put to silver. Pogo Stick is a very good, important badge because it's going to help you consistently jump after jump after jump, especially for your undersized people, because most people have to jump, especially if you're going against like those post scores, scores that's seven foot three, they just want to do post spins and stuff like that. Not post spins, but like any type of post move, like post hooks, stuff like that, anything like that. If you have to consistently jump people that's like pump faking, Polo Stick is just going to help you consistently jump and get contested on people that's really just trying to cheese the game. Then you got these bronze badges that got moving truck, chase down artists, interceptor, and rim protector. Rim protector, I put that badge on just to strictly be able to get those block animations that you just don't get. It's animations that you just get out of rim protector that you just wouldn't get if you didn't have that on. Same thing with chase down artists. You get animations in, with this badge on that you just wouldn't have. Like if you if you don't have this badge on, you're just gonna be jumping straight up when you're trying to chase down somebody. You put it on bronze, you're gonna get way quicker chase down block animations. And then when you go to Hall of Fame, it just gets even better. But for this video, going to bronze, it's going to make a huge difference. It's going to make a huge difference. I'm telling you, people don't understand how good that badge is. It's just a very good badge. Then when it comes to Interceptor, it's going to have you being in those lanes. Passing lanes are going to be even better. Then when it comes to Moving Truck, you have to put that badge on. Or at least bronze. Because if you don't have it on, you're just going to be getting moved around in the post a lot. But if you put it to bronze, it's going to make a big difference. I'm telling you, it's going to make a big difference. But yeah, this is the best big man build, in my opinion, in the game. Um, there might be other big man builds that you feel like are better. But in my opinion, this is the most well-rounded, best big man build in the game. It can shoot, play defense, dunk, and it can even drive. It has, it can even dribble. But yeah, man, I went over everything for this build from the position, the pie charts, attributes, height, weight, wingspan, takeover, all the way down to the badges. So yeah, man, for that alone, go ahead. Please leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. We've got more videos coming out every single day. So yeah, man, for that alone, please leave a like on this video if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new, man. We've got more videos coming out every single day, like I just said. 
Turn on post notifications to be the first at every single one of my videos. Share this video to anybody you think this will help. If you want to play with this build, if you, wanna, if you just want some, if you play with a big man that they just need another build, they need a new build, send this to them. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fitz, man. And about to be, man. Heard it talking shit, but ain't nothing. Tips on the stick, get a clip, hold a honey. Get out the pouch, out the onion. Heard it talking down, but 